Welcome back. Thank you, all the new subscribers. Everybody's been watching. I appreciate it very much. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you liked the last video pretty good, cultivating the uh, garlic. Uh, that is the first video that I was able to do with the uh, Final Cut Pro, but since then I've watched a lot of uh, tutorials on it. I, I'm barely good enough to make a video right now, guys, <laughs> but I'm learning a lot. And it's pretty neat. Uh, it's just so I, I, it makes me realize. I used to hear people talk about how long it took them to edit a video, and I thought, hmm, well, it don't take me that long. I sit down with my iPhone and I put the clips together and add a little music, and I'm done. But uh, with the things that Final Cut Pro can do, I, I can see where a person could spend hours editing a video. I don't know that I'd ever get that fancy with it, but I, I'd like to learn how to use it completely. Um, but having said that, just thank you everybody. Today we're going to, uh, we're going, we may chisel plow some. So this may be a video called getting ready to chisel plow or actually chisel plowing some corn ground. If I can get into it, I'm gonna go ahead and chisel plow it. I, I'll show you over there. There's some, I don't know what type weed it is. It's some cold weather weed. Um, it comes up pretty thick. And that's another reason why I don't really worry about raising uh, a cover crop. You hear that a lot, and I get a lot of questions about cover crops. I, if I had a bigger tractor and some tillers and things of that nature, I, I probably would be more inclined to do a cover crop. I do try to make sure whatever I raised, whether it be corn, beans, whatever it was, I put all that back into the soil that fall, but as far as sowing like some ryegrass or something on it, it's uh, it can make it kind of problematic for me with the 140 not being that big of a tractor, uh, of getting the soil cleaned back up enough where I can plant on it. So most of the time I don't, but it end up most of the time it grows some sort of I know it's not, but I call it chickweed or something. It, it grows something on there that uh, grows during cold weather. But we got to get the rolling cultivators off. We get that off, fuel the tractor, check the fluids, and we'll get over there and hook up to that chisel plow. guys we got to put a little fuel in here got the cultivators off my EPA approved jugs all right fuels in uh, cultivators off and I feel like the next thing I'll do with this tractor even if I can't do it today the next thing I'll probably do with it will be uh, chisel plowing some. I still we need to go to Sam's, my neighbor, my buddy Sam, Plow Day Sam, um, and see if we can get some more of those irrigation pipe out of his field with the plow. It seemed to work real good and he's got a couple more little fields with it in there and we want to see if we can get them out before it gets too late this spring. Let's go to the barn. All right, guys, let me, so some of you guys that are new to the channel, um, which is a good thing. I like having to repeat myself because you know what? That means we got new, new folks coming in. Uh, let me do something real quick, guys. I thought I did this when I unhooked it, but obviously I didn't. All right, try to keep that thing off the dirt as much as possible. This is what you see me refer to as my chisel plow now. Uh, is it a chisel plow like you would see behind a 1466 International? No, it's not, but it will stop that thing in its tracks if I, if I didn't have the gauge wheels on it. 
but uh, I like loosening the soil up with it. Uh, every spring I use it, I loosen the soil up real good, go back and forth across it. It'll give a chance, I'll show you these weeds in a second, it'll give a chance for them to die. And then all we have to do most of the time after that is cut over it with that disc hair over there and it's ready to go. Um, it's how, could I just use that disc hair and cut that? Probably could, but I'd wind up cutting it several times and I, I wouldn't have it broke up up underneath the soil as much as I'd want to. Um, so that, this thing here is, when it comes to getting soil ready, this is probably, I'm gonna say my go-to. Uh, but anyway, I just, for the new people, what I was gonna show you here was, I don't know what, it, you know, you can see, it just gets full of this little, whatever this is. It only grows in the winter around here, but it, as you can see, it just gets full of it. Uh, as much, that's why I said, I, you know, I really hadn't planted a cover crop because these little things right here, uh, they start growing probably December. And then they're, you know, this time of year they're flowering out and stuff. But we're going to fix them to put these under the ground. We're going to chisel plow this and uh, get it loosened up. I mean, it's it's tomorrow's March first. Um, it you know hopefully get some good weather in March. We can get it up in a bed and get it ready to plant corn. So it's the year goes by. Time time seems to have a habit of doing that. Is just flying by so let's get it hooked up
guys. With the uh, chisel plow is always pretty cool to me because it's full of, uh, especially spring chisel plowing, it's full of what ifs. Um, we're planning to put Silver Queen sweet corn here. We've got a, a, a year of potential and uh, it's kind of exciting because you you know you're this is the official start of uh, which we, I know we plowed it last year but as far as this year this is the official start of gardening season is when you break this chisel plow out so it's kind of kind of neat uh, golly it just seems like me and Will plowed this yesterday doesn't it Will <laughs> and uh, but hope you enjoyed it I, I've enjoyed being out here um, Thank you everybody for hanging in and subscribing. The channel grows three or four or five subscribers every day and I just, I am just dumbfounded and I am trying to do my best guys to do better quality videos and uh, to just give you guys something to watch. I know even before we had the fiber, which it's not turned on yet, but even using my Starlink, uh, we done got, I mean, we hardly even watch any TV anymore. If I watch anything, it's some YouTube channels that I subscribe to and, and you don't have to worry about, you know, I don't have to worry about cuss words coming up, something bad coming up. I mean, you just watch it, enjoy it. And uh, uh, not, that, not that this fella needs any of my help, but uh, just a few acres with Pete. I really enjoy watching his channel. Uh, I really enjoy watching Gear Rock Farms. Um, and of course, you know, you got all of Farm All 51 and uh, Old Red Tractors and uh, Scott's Farming and Things and Soybean Farmer. I, you know, I watch all of them. Uh, and if I forgot one, y'all forgive me. I, I, you know, I can't think of all of it right off the cuff. But yeah, I just, I like it. And uh, so. Hopefully we'll take this and make you guys a good video out of it. I asked Will, I said, Will, should we get the drone out? And I said, no, let's just, we'll hold the drone back for some uh, planning. And, you know, we still, we got, and it's just a starting to chisel plow. So we, you know, we'll have to chisel plow anything we do over there and get it ready. Uh, the green beans, the rest of the, where the uh, garlic and potatoes are planted. And we also got the... Hastings prolific field up there and uh, which I'm on the fence I, I think I'll plant Hastings again but I had a thought of planting some Jimmy Red but uh, I, I don't want it too close to the Hastings for sure because uh, I want to keep that Hastings pure seed no nothing you know getting in with it uh, Sam I think we have settled on planting sunflowers in the plow day field. They should be done and played out before plow day. We'll bush hog them and be ready to go. Uh, he also, Sam does, he he does, he has a wedding ve venue that he does. He does weddings and chairs and stuff like that. And we were talking and I said, well, you know, if we plant it in sunflowers, it, you know, it'd be a good place if they want to take some pictures. Uh, so I think that's what we're gonna do is plant the plow day field in sunflowers and I, I'm not sure if we're going to try to maybe drill them in where you don't have to worry about cultivating it. I, I think that's probably which way we'll lean maybe is just uh, drilling them in and, and we don't have to worry about cultivating them or anything. But it should be fun. I'll help him do that and maybe he'll let me use some of his big equipment and we can film that and and uh, make a good video of that. So Sam, little Sammy, my Sammy's back there saying, yeah, yeah. Uh, but thank you. Enjoy. God bless you. God loves you. We'll see you.